Okay, so as you can see, the sketch is too long to explain in a single video. It still goes down all the way, all the way down here as you can see. So I'm going to explain the sketch in parts. Now the first part I'm going to explain is relative to the RGB LED that I showed you in the video already. and. When you already explained to you how to switch in between the menus on the LCD display. And so I added two more uh, conditions, two more menus, which are relative to the RGB, which are these right over here. Now the first one I'm going to explain is the RGB automatic mode because it's it's the simplest one between both now uh, the difference between these two actually both of them are different from the others on these the same aspect which is uh, they can only start the function after I accept it I, I order it to start because if I don't do that as soon as I switch in, as I'm selecting through the different menus, as soon as I select one of these, the menu will be locked inside the function. So to avoid that problem, I came up with this if condition. So if I press the main button, then the function respective to the case will turn on. As you can see, I have the if condition here also. Uh, obviously, uh, my my button is a module, so each time I press it, it goes to zero instead of one like other regular buttons. Now, uh, to explain the automatic mode, uh, I clear the LCD and I print out a message. Now this message has to be, uh, yeah exactly, I print out the message. The RGB saying that I'm in the automatic mode, I know just by saying RGB. And then I have over here button and underneath is start which means if I press the button, the main button, the, the uh, function will start. And I also have the, the printed in the display that if I press the joystick button, I will exit, I will exit the mode also. So, like I explained, if I press the main button, I will go inside this RGB automatic function, which is down over here, which is this one over here the automatic function. Now uh, I have over here already a predetermined uh, in an array that I have up here. This array is correspondent to the colors, the values that are going to be written to the pins of the of the LED, of the RGB LED. Now where is that? Oh it's over here. As you can see the RGB value array it holds three uh, numbers, uh, I have them initially at zero, one for each for each uh, color. So we have red, green, and blue. I'm sorry. Uh, so we go down, back to where I was explaining, down here, to manual, okay right over here. So I predetermine uh, different colors, different values for the different colors, and I go inside four loop blocks. Now this is actually relevant. You can do whatever you want, just as long as you follow this logic of increments and decrements to each uh, LED color, and that will make the LED change its colors in between its three different colors and make that array of different multicolors that you see. Now if I press the, oh we, we go back, let me go back up, uh, back 
up, back up. So, and then if I press the joystick button, the joystick button sets, as I already explained before, it's the interrupt, and it sets the menu option to five, uh, to zero, I mean, sorry, it, which sets everything back to the main menu, which is a clock. So uh, once I hit that joystick button, the menu option variable will no longer be six and the sequence will stop repeating itself. Oh.